In this video, I'm going to show you how to use merge cells in Excel. To demonstrate it, I have two tables here with data. Um, we have a table showing the number of orders by date and by month, and another table showing uh, the number of sales by city and by the sales agent that closed the deal. <clears throat> I'm going to use this table to demonstrate how to merge cells horizontally, and this one to demonstrate how to merge cells vertically. So let's get into it. Um, for vertical and horizontal merging, you would like to select the cell that you would like to keep first and then sele select the cells that uh, we're going to lose basically because they are going to be lost when we do the merging. And for the vertical merging, we're going to select from G1 to I1 over here. Then to merge the cells, we're going to go to the home menu and then we're going to identify the alignment group over here. And here we have the option merge and center. We press it and as simple as that, the cells have now been merged. To use this vertically, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to select all the values that we would like to merge, all the cells that we would like to merge, starting with the one that we would like to keep, which is C2 over here. We're going to select all the cells from C2 to C5. And then we are going to go to Home, Alignment, and Margin Center. And over here, Excel is going to show you a warning saying that Margin cells only keeps the upper left cell value and discards the other values. This means that only the value in C2 will be kept, which is okay because we have duplicate values and we are okay with losing the values in C3, C4, and C5. So we're going to click OK. And there we have it. The cells have now been merged and we're going to repeat this process for the other, uh, the other months. In here for December, I'm going to show you another trick. A lot of people like to use shortcuts in Excel and I'm going to show you how to merge cells using only the keyboard. So after we selected the, the group, you are going to have to press the Alt key, which is uh, the first key from the left of the spacebar. So I'm clicking on Alt and then you're going to have to click on Age which uh, stands from home, <laughs> right? Then we can see in the alignment group that uh, margin center has the key M next to it. So we are going to press the M key. And then here we're going to press the M key again. Excel is going to show us the warning, which we are okay with. So we're going to press enter. And here we have it. The cells have now been merged both vertically and horizontally. Uh, another thing that we can do over here on the vertically merged cells is that we can display this label in the center of the box because right now it is displayed at the bottom of the box and it would be a lot nicer it, if, uh, if, it, if it would be shown over here. So this is very simple. From the alignment tab we have the bottom align option selected. We also have a top align and middle align option here and we would like to have the middle align option selected so we are going to press this button and here we have it. Now the tables are more clean and the data is displayed in a nicer way. <clears throat> That's it for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and I'm going to answer all of them. Thanks for watching.